You've seen our great product lineup for 1971. I'm sure you'll all agree that both the styling and engineering are outstanding. We all feel that our new models and model alignment offer the best opportunity we've had in a long time. And they will give us the head start needed to make the 70s a real success. But you know and I know that styling and engineering alone won't do the job. We must also give our customers quality products, reliable products, and products that are delivered on time. We are working to meet these goals and we'll make progress in 1971. I think you'll be interested and impressed to see some examples of the effort we are devoting to the production of a quality car. For example, 25 to 30 production models each day will be put on a road simulator to check for such things as squeaks, rattles, broken wells, and grounded tailpipes. If any defect is found, including those items related to production procedures, we get an immediate fix. As more of this specially designed equipment becomes available, more cars will be checked each day. Of course, this particular check is at the end of the production cycle, and there are many more that precede it. We have installed a computerized system in the car assembly plant to relay information to production process operations. This system provides accurate, right now, status reports on production errors and allows us to plan and properly direct corrective action. Line operators use IBM input units to record coded production discrepancies, which are fed to a computer. The operator removes an inspection ticket and records all items which have not been corrected at the process station along the line. General foremen have a printout every hour of the high frequency items. In addition to being provided several special reports, production management can inquire about the status of any given operation. The inquiry is answered including the quantity of errors right to the moment of inquiry. Our goal is zero defects and our target is to correct errors on the production line, or as we say, build them right the first time. Another example is an automatic setting fixture that properly locates a door before it is hung. This procedure was developed in cooperation with Fisher Body. In an effort to eliminate mistakes in painting bodies, we have almost completely automated the painting process. The result has been a consistently higher quality finish. When a discrepancy does occur, a new vapor reflow repair technique makes the surface good as new so that the repair doesn't show up after the car is delivered to the customer. As you know, engine oil and coolant leaks can be a prime source of owner complaints. Steady progress has been made in this area. In fact, Pontiac has had the least incident of field problems in General Motors for the last three years, the result of 100% engine air tests. Numerical control equipment has been installed in our crankshaft department and now automatically checks every shaft for 29 critical dimensions. If a discrepancy is found, it is indicated by key punch on an inspection card and automatically attached to the crankshaft for rejection. Tires have been an off and on source of problems. And we are working with each tire manufacturer toward the elimination of these problems. Pontiac designed and built special equipment for testing radial and lateral force variation of tires. All tire manufacturers are presently using this equipment to verify quality before shipping tires. We continually monitor on our equipment at the home plant, tires from all manufacturers for all Pontiac car lines. Another area constantly being reviewed for improvement is tire and wheel assembly balancing. The weight supply bins are automatically tied into the balance machine so that as each tire is checked, a light tells the operator 
which weight to use. This eliminates operator judgment. Today's instrument panels have extremely complex circuitry due to the number of accessories and options. It requires new approaches to check these panels after subassembly. Now each panel is connected to a computer. Using the computer's logic, all panels are electrically checked against the manifest for all options and accessories and for all functional items. Controlled voltage input also checks each circuit in the system for potential shorts. With this method, we should eliminate the electrical failures that may occur shortly after the owner takes possession. As a further check each day, between 20 and 30 cars are taken out of the plant and driven over all types of roads under all kinds of conditions. If any problem develops, of course, it's corrected. The objective here is to catch any problem that might relate to the production and assembly operations. That's just a few of the quality and reliability checks we're running on the 1971 products. We're doing everything we can to make the 1971 products as outstanding in quality and reliability as they are in style. I said styling and engineering alone wouldn't do the job. The final elements are a strong dealer group and a well-trained aggressive sales force. The final element is you. The 1971 products are outstanding. And I am firmly convinced that together, with all the elements in place, we can make this one of the best years ever. When you get your cars, see the public reaction. You'll know what I mean. Once in a while, there's a thought that occurs to you. Once in a while. Once in a while, there's a car that's a cut above. Once in a while. And all at once, you see.